Did you know Offset's parents separated from each other and divorced when Offset was only five years old? It heavily influenced his childhood. Today, we will see Offset finally breaking his silence on the death of his cousin, Takeoff. If you're a fan of Offset, then you must watch this video. Stay tuned till the end. Kiari Kendrell Cephas, born on December 14, 1991, is an American rapper better known by his stage name Offset. He rose to fame as a member of the rap group Migos, along with his cousin Quavo and late first cousin Takeoff. Offset along with 21 Savage and record producer Metro Boomin released the collaborative album Without Warning in 2017. The single Ric Flair Drip from the album reached the top 20 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. He also collaborated with Drake on Metro Boomin's single No Complaints. In 2018, he was featured on Tyga's song Taste, which was the first Billboard Hot 100 Top 10 as a soloist. He was later certified 7 Platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA. In the same year, he collaborated with Travis Scott on Kodak Black's single ZZ, which peaked at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Offset released his debut solo studio album Father of Four in 2019. The album was a second solo album to reach the top 10 on the Billboard 200 chart. It also spawned the single Clout, featuring his wife Cardi B, which earned him a Grammy nomination for Best Rap Performance. Offset appeared as a backup dancer in Whitney Houston's 2002 video. At the time, he was 9 years old. In June 2021, a clip of it was shown on The Late Show with James Corden. Migos members were raised middle class. In Gwinnett County, Georgia, Offset, Quavo, and Takeoff formed Migos in 2008. Offset is Quavo's cousin, and Takeoff is Quavo's uncle. They grew up together in Gwinnett County, which is mostly suburban, near Atlanta. Takeoff Kershnik Kari Ball, also known as Takeoff, was an American rapper who lived from June 18, 1994 to November 1, 2022. He was best known for being a member of the hip-hop trio Migos with his uncle Quavo and first cousin once removed Offset. The group had multiple top 10 Billboard Hot 100 hits, including Motorsport, featuring Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, Stir Fry, Walk It, Take It, featuring Drake, and Bad and Bougie, featuring Lil Zooey Vert, which peaked at number one, although Takeoff was not present on the single. He was also nominated for two Grammy Awards. Takeoff was shot and killed in Houston, Texas on November 1, 2022. Takeoff's Death Takeoff, who rose to prominence as one-third of the platinum-selling rap group Migos, was recently shot and killed at a private party in Houston, Texas. He was just 28 years old. The manner of death was listed as homicide by the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office, with penetrating gunshot wounds of head and torso into the arm as the cause of death. In addition, a 23-year-old man and 24-year-old woman were injured. The Homicide Division Sergeant Michael Arrington told reporters that they were both fine. Takeoff shooting death is the latest high-profile death of a hip-hop artist. He was known as the quiet, low-key member of the group, which also included his uncle Quavo. Takeoff was shot three times in the torso, in the head, and was killed on November 1, 2022 at 810 Billards in Bowling in Houston, Texas, which is part of the Green Street commercial development. According to Houston's KHOU 11 TV, he and about 40 other people gathered outside the bowling alley after a private party ended there around 1 a.m. Central Time. Quavo had earlier in the night posted a video in which he was driving around Houston with Jazz Prince, who is the second son of James Prince, who was celebrating his father's birthday. According to Houston Police Sergeant Michael Arrington, an altercation erupted as a large crowd gathered outside the venue's third floor entrance, and at least two guns were fired. Takeoff's record label stated in a statement that he was killed by a stray bullet, and Houston Police Chief Troy Finer stated that he did not believe Takeoff was the intended target. According to the Houston Police Department, a fatal shooting occurred at 2.40 a.m. Central Time, and the victim was found dead on arrival. We're not releasing an identity of the deceased victim until his family is notified and ID is verified by Harris County Institute of Forensic Sciences, the department later added. Takeoff was killed in the shooting, according to Houston police. When a nurse living near the bowling alley heard the shots, she dashed to the scene. She checked the rapper's pulse, but he was already dead when she arrived. During the shooting, two other people were injured. 24-year-old Joshua Washington, a business associate of Quavo, and a 23-year-old woman. Rapper, designer, announced in a live Instagram broadcast that he is leaving rap and can no longer be creative as a result of Takeoff's death. 
DJ Academics, a blogger, held a three-hour stream in honor of Takeoff, during which he analyzed videos from the moment of Takeoff's murder and also called the fighting the ideology of violence in hip-hop, including stopping imitating rappers YNW, Melly, and TK, who were convicted of murder. During a concert in Finland, rapper 50 Cent announced a moment of silence in memory of Takeoff, during which photos of him appeared on large screens. French soccer player Benjamin Pavard used the dab gesture popularized by Migos to celebrate a goal for Bayern Munich. The Buffalo Bills football players held their traditional post-practice karaoke broadcast on Instagram, but before the party began, the players paid tribute to Takeoff. The Atlanta Falcons paid tribute to Takeoff during their game against the Los Angeles Chargers, with images of him projected on big screens and his song playing in the background. Basketball player LeBron James changed his Instagram profile photo to a black and white takeoff photo. A few days later, LeBron arrived at the game against the Cleveland Cavaliers wearing a suit and chain, exactly replicating the rapper's outfit in one of the photo shoots. Gucci Mane dedicated the song and video, Letter to Takeoff, to Ball on November 15th. Offset, his former groupmate and a longtime friend have not spoken publicly about Takeoff's death, but he changed the avatar on his verified Instagram account to a photo of Takeoff and a white heart. Drake, Gucci Mane, Machine Gun Kelly, and Beyonce have all paid tribute to the slain artist, with the later changing the landing page of her website to a photo of him. Takeoff appeared to be aware of the potential dangers that rappers may face. During a recent episode of the Drink Champs podcast, he and Quavo discussed their new album, Only Built for Infinity Links, with hosts NORE and DJ Effin. Offset on Takeoff's death. Offset has finally spoken out about the untimely death of fellow Migos member Takeoff. Offset paid tribute to the late rapper on Instagram, reliving some of the incredible moments they shared. Takeoff, born, Kersnick Kari Ball, was shot and killed at a bowling alley in Houston on November 1st. Offset began his post with a message in which he expressed his pain over his friend's death. He stated, Dear Take, the pain you've caused me is unbearable. My heart is broken, and I have so many things to say, but I can't find the right words. The rapper went on to call the situation a nightmare that he can't seem to shake. Offset wrote that whenever he saw Take Off, he was greeted with a hug. Offset said that he wished he could give Take Off one more hug. One more time he could laugh with him one last cigarette he could smoke with him, also perform once more with him. Someone with a soul like him is now in heaven. Offset hopes Takeoff understands how much he adores and misses him. He left a gaping hole in his heart that will never be filled. He persisted in pleading with Takeoff to give him. Even though Offset knows he will always be with us, he further says, throw me a little sign or a beautiful dream. Offset will always love him. In addition to such a heartfelt message, Offset included throwback videos and photos of some of the happier times he shared with Takeoff. Offset's post comes just a day after his wife, Cardi B, paid tribute to Takeoff on Instagram. She began by saying, Takeoff, your untimely death has caused a great deal of pain and sorrow in so many people's lives. Your impact on the world was enormous, and we have struggled to comprehend this tragedy. I am heartbroken, but grateful for the precious memories we were able to share while you were with us. Cardi went on to say that the pain that they've all been feeling has been incomparable. Nonetheless, she stated that Takeoff's bros, Offset and Quavo, as well as his fans, will ensure the world never forgets the impact you made. Offset and Cardi were both in attendance at Takeoff's memorial service in Atlanta. The gathering took place more than a week after Takeoff was killed after being shot in a Houston bowling alley. At the time of his death, he was 28 years old.